multiple surfaces can be combined to create a single surface that is dynamically linked back to the two or more original surfaces. This is done with the Edit Surface Paste Surface command. And a typical scenario for this would be pasting a design surface, like that from a road or a corridor model, into the existing ground, or a pond or parking lot grading into the existing ground to create a surface that represents the final site conditions of your project. In this drawing, if I go to the prospector, I'll see that I have two surfaces there, e.g. and pond. The pond surface is not currently displayed, so I'll right-click on it and go to Surface Properties. And on the Information tab, I see it has a style selected called No Display. I'll change that to Contours 1 and 5 Design. And now we can see the pond surface down near the southern edge of our site. To paste those two surfaces together, I'm going to start by creating a third surface and then paste both the existing ground and pond surface into it. We want to be sure not to paste the pond into the existing ground because then we would no longer have a surface that represents our existing ground. We can also cause problems by creating circular references if the pond surface was created with some of the Civil 3D grading tools that daylighted to the existing ground. In that case, by pasting the pond surface into existing ground, we would have changed existing ground, which would be changing the target of the pond surface itself. So we'll start by creating a new surface. And I'll put the surface on its own layer. And I'll add a modifier of a suffix and the value of a dash asterisk. That will add the surface name to the end of the layer. And we'll just call the surface FG, or Finish Ground. We'll use this contour style of Contours 1 and 5 Design. That'll be fine. And I'll click OK. Now currently, that FG surface is just an empty container. And we'll start by pasting the EG surface into the FG surface. This will create a dynamic link between the EG and FG surfaces. An alternative is you could have just copied the EG surface with the AutoCAD copy command and then pasted the pond into that. But it would not be dynamically linked to the existing ground as well as the pond. So that we can see this in action more easily, I'm going to go to the surface properties of EG and set it to no display so that we don't see it. And I'll do the same thing with the pond. Now things look blank at the moment, but we still are displaying the FG surface. It just doesn't have any data. So I'll expand FG, expand definition, and select edits. And when I right click on edits, I can pick paste surface. And I'll select the surface EG to paste into the new FG surface. I'll click OK. And the new FG surface is rebuilt with all of the data from the EG surface within it. And we can see the contours look just like the existing ground surface did. If I select that surface, another way I can find the paste command is go to the edit surface command. Pick Paste Surface on, from the Context Sensitive Ribbon. And this time, I'll select Pond to paste in. And here we can see the pond contours have been merged in with our existing ground. Now, the order that we paste these surfaces together is important. We have to paste in the large surface or the existing ground surface first, and then we paste the pond into that surface. Because every time we do the paste, the surface that we are pasting in completely overwrites all the data within its extents. So typically you want to paste small surfaces into large surfaces or finished grade surfaces into existing ground data.